Snakes are really gonna die this time. I think I think we've used that as an outro for like 12 freaking episodes. The snake's gonna die. Then we're gonna eat it. It's gonna taste like chicken. Have you ever eaten snake? No, not really. I wouldn't really want to. I keep hearing it does taste like chicken. You never either? I haven't. I want to, but yeah. you gotta buy it at like an army surplus stores and all of our... All our army surplus stores either gone out of business or they're really tiny now. Yeah, actually, it's funny because back in Santa Monica, there would be there was two or three army surplus stores, and one by one, they were all gone by like two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Yeah, all gone. They don't just they actually have some really cool sh like inexpensive shit that would just be odd. Like if you're gonna travel and you, I just need this. They had it <laughs> every yeah, you time. You think like an army surplus store would be something like like tax free or whatever? Nope. You know, considering that they're just trying to like huh. I need use a... and sell stuff to like arm, like you know, armed services and and what have you. I mean, it's not I like not. you don't really you most of them you don't find like guns or ammo at because that's like no, special. no, it's like weird things like a parachute and just the parachute, you know, yeah. like really odd things. And other things that's really helpful, like you know, like, tat gear, boots, like a bunch of stuff for camping and shit you like know, that. I bought um like propane. I bought a uh, um. Flight suit, um, or a fight. Like, yeah, it was really good for like a one piece like flight suit. Costumes, yeah. And I did, I did for, uh, I did it for a Porco Rosso costume. It looked fantastic. By the way. I guess nothing left to do but fight this fucking snake. Go around the long way. Goddamn snakes! You have the grenade launcher on you. Yeah. Let's make this quick. I think acid rounds hurt the snake. Oh, fuck me, dude. You try to pistol whip him? Oh, that's fuck. This has turned into a terrible idea. He's dead. Oh, goddamn, Larry. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck you doing? Get Man, that guy, that down. guy, that guy did not oblige to gravity at all. Like, you shot him and he went towards the gun. Stay down, bitch! That was that was a different death animation. That yeah. was weird. He's brown, that's why. Rolled over. Yeah, those guys were creepy in in the old one because if you were at a certain point of health, they would literally just chop oh, fuck, your fucking this is head bad. off. Bad for business. Oh my god, he died with one shot. <laughs> you just wrecked that is shit. I forgot I finally forgot about Bill and the Redhead. Bill and the Redhead. <laughs> Bill and the Redhead. Woo! It's like, like an abuse story of these it's two a, poor guys. It's a new dysfunctional modern family, Bill and the Redhead. Black. <laughs> he just smacks them. Why didn't you grab that bitch, Bill? I'm gonna smack you. I'm sorry, Red. I'm sorry, Red. Whack. <laughs> Final place. Key. Getting to the end. Sort of. There's like a long, not really long, but just kind of like a slow underground segment. Yeah. It's like, you don't do much, you just gotta like run around a lot. Not get run over. Turn it on! You gonna launch one out of here? No, yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm a snake. Yeah! That sucks. Did you see that lunge? You have to go left or right. Just keep launching them. Fuck it. Oh, I have to manually reload? Shit. Fuck off. Not good. Mm -hmm. Now he's dead. Ah. I'm so angry that I'm a snake. Fucking yawn. On the books he knocked over, he revealed a key, I guess? That's what it was showing? Yeah. Eat the snake, replenish health. Would be kind of neat. Snakes! <laughs> it, it would be funny to see Jill, like, get on all fours and just be like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> start digging into it. Snake's supposed to get this big? Yeah. Second book, pride open. Book of Thrones. 
Game of Thrones, metal book two. Metal was hidden inside the book. A metal of wolf with predator symbol. So wait, eagle and wolf? We got Falco and wolf. Lombardi. We got a big dun, dead snake is dun, what we got. Dun, 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 so yeah, you, dun, did dun, have, dun. you did have to kill the snake. For that. Yeah. Metal. You needed all three metals, I guess it is? like it'll open. Okay, this is to that one room hallway with the flames on it. That's what that was for. We went up the elevator. Yeah. Well, we finally did it. Big Snake is a big dead snake. Fuck that snake. It's funny, it's like the bosses in this game aren't really zombies. Like, it's funny how many animals yeah. in Resident Evil you actually kill. There's like a ton of creatures unrelated to, like, zombie... It gets even weirder in, like, Zero, where you fight, like, a scorpion and monkeys and, and like, a millipede. And leeches, of course. Leeches. Well, I remember Zero's, leeches. like, a big zoo game. <laughs> yeah. It's like a zoo of Resident Evil. At least in Resident Evil 2, it's, like, the creatures... You still fight, like, spiders and shit like that, but the bosses, for Two, the most you part... you fight lickers and... Sp I mean, There's that... an alligator. Yeah, there's there's a there's a fucking giant alligator. That sequence is actually really fun. That's another part where having I mean, like the magnum is pretty helpful, um, or at least some I think automatic weapon. I think I use you use all your machine gun ammo, uh, on the on the crocodile. That's a fun sequence. Now, there's a lot of real crazy variety in in two, like just insane things and instead of like you know this one where you kind of try to avoid things most of the time you actually kill them in two you're actually supposed to well, fight there's a lot more variety in this game as a remake than oh yeah than the first one oh my god yes yeah. holy shit yeah absolutely I've already noticed that quite a bit that this game is kind of switching it up with how things are done quite differently than the original Put shit in the way. I kind of need to take shit out. I don't think I need this yet. What I do need, though, is that crank and battery. Look at me, dogs out there. Just let you know. Dogs? Yeah, there was a couple of dogs still. Oh yeah, the dogs. And your goddamn dogs, Max. It'd be funny if we replace all the dogs with polygon versions of Benny. Arf! 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 That's why I really wanted to play that one, like, Tokyo Jungle game. Oh, yeah, that Because you, you can command a legion of Pomeranians, and they're, like, the deadliest thing in the game. Are they really? Are they really, though? Yeah, like, a legion of Pomeranians is, like, unstoppable, supposedly. <laughs> like, they, they... It's, like, legion, like... It's, like, six Pomeranians versus a fucking lion. And you could, if you if you control the Pomeranians, they could win. It's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> that just that sounds, sounds so fucking retarded. It sounds. I just want to watch that. <laughs> to see six Pomeranians take on like an elephant in Tokyo, like destructed Tokyo. I don't know. I just I get this huge kick out of that for some reason. And there was like DLC Pomeranians or some shit, and everyone bought it. <laughs> I don't think that game actually came out in the U.S. I think it was Japan only. I'd have. Sounds way the fuck too obscure to get American release. Well, come on. There's been a lot of weirder things That's that true. out here. That's true. Like, uh, one with that weird girl. Shit, what was it called? One with that weird Catherine. girl. Catherine. Catherine, yeah. That's not nearly as weird as Tokyo Jungle, though. Yeah, Tokyo Jungle's really weird. That's just an uh, action. That's just an adventure puzzle game, or action puzzle game, platform puzzle. Okay, platform puzzle. Yeah, platform puzzle game with uh, a fucking like storyline about a guy cheating on his girlfriend. And he doesn't know which one to go with. Uh, the biggest thing I know about Catherine is the fact that Atlas always somehow gets the cover art of E3 badges. Yeah. And it was the cover of everyone's E3 badge, and everyone's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it was, like, all promiscuous looking. Yeah, yeah, everyone's E3 badge is like a chick, like, taking off her top. <laughs> yeah, taking off her top with a dude in between her in between her boobs. Yeah. I was, I was like, all right, these executive guys and shit wearing this badge. <laughs> it was a little funny, I'm, I'm not sure going to I'm sure Atlas planned it that way, exactly. Yeah. And then last year they had Persona 
I had there big, was one year they had, there was one year they had Rock of Ages and it was like the most boring looking fucking bad yeah. slip case ever. Yeah. Wonder what we'll get this year. Marvel vs. Capcom Four. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dream on, buddy. Dream on. I am free, free falling. Never gonna happen. Nope. Dogs are out here, huh? Uh, no, these died. We killed these. Okay. It's the next room over, but you don't have to go there now. You can just shove your battery right in this thing. No, because I can't hop down. Nah, all the hunters the next room. jump up there. Sucks. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, I know what I gotta do. I gotta do this bullshit. I gotta do this bullshit. It's funny when you see, like, little subtle things move, like... The screen actually gets that compression, you know? Yeah, because it's actually gets grainy moving. It gets, so it gets really pixelated and... Oh, mm. fuck, now you're poison. It's shooting text. Oh, you got lucky. Fucking another one. Another. Uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. If that started. If, fuck, I could not handle it. If that shit started happening in real life. <laughs> I, I fucking don't think. I, I'd it's probably a bunch just. bunch of snakes falling at you. Like, oh, fuck, Jesus God damn. Christ. I would probably start freaking the fuck out. Oh, how convenient. There's the batch of blue. You don't need them, though. But here's where the dogs are. Goddamn camera angle. Right? Oh, I got lucky on that one. Oh, he's not dead. No, he's dead. No, he's a monkey. He just jumps into like nothing. He's dead. He had the monkey sound. <laughs> Shove your battery right in that thing. It's just like a, a giant car battery. There you go. Should work. I can avoid the snakes. It's, it's funny, the amount of time, like, I think we were saying this before for another remade game, like, for, for Twin Snakes. Yeah. The amount of time that was between a game like Twin Snakes and a game like Remake between their originals was, like, less than four years. Remake was, like, 97 to 2002. Yeah, so it's just, like, oh, just over five years. Yeah. Which is not that long, all things considered. It was, it was only one console generation. Yeah, it was still only one, yeah. I don't know, everyone, everyone keeps asking them to remake 2. I mean, I th only way I think they could remake 2, if they wanted to go the cheap way, and I would still be really happy about it, is if they did just like this, you know? And they... They did pre-rendered backgrounds, keep everything 2D, touch wouldn't up the controls. Cheap. It wouldn't be cheap, though, not anymore. Oh, no, it, nothing's cheap now, but it would definitely be less expensive than making it a Resident Evil 4 type of game. I don't think redesigning. so. I don't think so. I think it would be just probably the same. Because they'd, they'd have to just completely render all new shit. Yeah. All new. They couldn't use any of their previous backgrounds because they're too fucking low res. Well, they wouldn't, but the, the big... You have to just redo everything. The big difference, there's there's a huge difference between making a flat, pre-rendered, single-frame background and actually making a 3D environment. Well, it is. It's made in 3D space, yeah. but they're not. you're not actually rendering everything that's going on behind here, no, so this is smoke would, and mirrors. As, yeah, but it's, no, at this point in time, it would be just as expensive, really. Maybe, Especially yeah. since they have fucking, like, 3D models for what, most of RE2 anyways, with, like, Dark Side Chronicles. That's Heroic true. Chronicles, that's true. Cards Outbreak, Chronicles. Outbreak. Um, can I go on? Because there's, what's it? Raccoon City. Yeah, they've practically done everything around Resident Evil 2 besides remaking Resident Evil 2. Yeah. 
Like it wouldn't. It would actually be cheaper to use assets from some of the more recent. That water does look pretty fantastic, though. Wow, <laughs> it does really look good. Click, clang. Are we getting someplace now? Oh yeah, we're, I think we're getting someplace now. Oh, giant goddamn Indiana Jones boulder. I wonder where that's going to go. Something to touch up your health. I don't think we're ever going back in the mansion, are we? Um, I really have no look. Holy shit. Yeah, you blew them all on the dogs. You're right. You blew your load all over the dogs, dude. Whoa! Whoa! Um, what you were thinking, but you gotta reload. Quite scene. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Enrique. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Enrico! <laughs> I mean, the guy that just just down there, you know, you could chase him. Yeah. Or just run. There's a couple logical fallacies here as well. And does not accept the fact that he's gone. <laughs> Whoever shot him from behind that corner is definitely a professional. He's hiding. <laughs> Another crank. Uh, this is a hexagonal. Yeah, it's like, okay, log illogical fallacy here. One, why didn't you check to see who shot them? Two, did you recognize the sound of the gun? Because everyone on Stars has a custom pistol they use. Three, yeah. examine the bullet out in his bullet wound. That probably could also help you figure out who the traitor is. That's kind of weird. You get to dig inside him, take the bullet out. Either Holy goddamn! You. Switch your weapon, switch your weapon, switch your weapon. While he's roaring at me. <laughs> Fuck. The pan gun would have not have done anything anyway. Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck! Back, 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 back. I don't know if he's dead. I don't think he is. No, he's not fucking dead. Yes, he is. He's dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> well, that was an interesting sequence of events. Wesker, like, Wesker just carried a gremlin on his back. He's always <laughs> leave this here. <laughs> Next time on Yo! Video Games, this is how we transport all these creatures. 